from Cameroon. Okay. No, we don't do that. Guess we need everybody watching. Huh? <laughs> I know. <coughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm ready. Okay. Go. Got it All right. No, no, you just go ahead anytime you're ready. Do you think that moves the time table to get you back to class? If you think that doesn't matter, you just think I don't want to put it on. Okay. Well, look, what I want to say is we owe these folks an awful lot. The scientists and the people who uh, put this together, the frontline workers, the people who were the ones who actually the, did the clinical work. It's just amazing. And I wish we had time to take you through the whole hospital to see how busy and incredible you all are. And uh, we owe you big. We really do. And uh, one of the things is that I think that uh, the administration deserves some credit getting this off the ground with Operation Warp Speed. And I also think that uh, it's worth saying that uh, this is, is great hope. I'm doing this to demonstrate that people should be prepared when it's available to take the vaccine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm looking forward to the second shot. So is Jill. She's had her shot earlier today. She loves shots, I know. <laughs> but uh, I've had so many. But uh, at any rate, uh, is that for me? That's <clears throat> my next visit. And. Uh, but the important thing is that it's worth stating that, uh, you know, this is just the beginning. It's one thing to get the vaccine out, and now Moderna is, uh, is, is going to be <coughs> on the road as well. <coughs> but it's going to take time. It's going to take time. In the meantime, I know I don't want to sound like a sour note here, but uh, I hope people listen to all the experts and the Dr. Fauci's on talking about the need to wear masks during this Christmas and New Year's holidays, wear masks, socially distance, and, uh, and if you don't have to travel, don't travel. Don't travel. It's really important because we're still in the thick of this. It's one thing to have the vaccine show up at a hospital. There's another thing to get the vaccine from that vial into a needle, into an arm. And uh, there's uh, millions of people out there that are going to need this, frontline workers first. But I just want to thank everyone <coughs> for all that they've done. There's some real heroes, some real heroes, and you're among them. Thank you. And we will be rolling out the vaccine over the next number of months. But as we do that, this is no opportunity and no reason for people not to continue to wear masks, not to continue to social distance and wash hands. So all of the preventive things that the public needs to be doing uh, should continue to do, everybody in the public, because just because we have a vaccine doesn't mean that we can lay off all of the other preventive things that we know we have to be doing to keep people safe.